Hello, Kit Heads. Welcome back. We are talking kits. The home of the greatest football kit content in the whole entire universe. Yeah, I said it. That's right. I'm as always, I'm double A. Um, you know, a double A there. And we've got as he's back, he's that side, not that side. He's back, Kit King Dom. Yeah. Maybe tone it maybe tone it down a little bit this week. I think last week was we saw a happy, very happy Dom. We say very happy Dom. Is that who it was? That was I think inebriated would be the, the correct hey, I was, term. I was, I, was, I was being polite, mate. I was, I we're was, we're all adults here. <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna lie, this that's my favourite version of Dom I've seen so far, mate. <laughs> I was I was enamoured with that with that. If you've not seen last week's episode after this one, make sure you you go back and watch last week with Matt. Uh it was fun. Let's just say that. It was it was very, very fun. Uh but no, mate, are you good? You've had a good yeah. Good yeah. Week? Oh, All yeah. good, yeah, really yeah. good. So yeah, looking forward to this one. A uh, bit of a bit of a difficult one this week uh, with really? these uh, one club men. I think so. So yeah, if you, if you don't know, if you don't know why you're here, obviously it's full kit rankers. We have returned. We are in the rank bank, as we like to call it. And it's a full house this week. It's not just me, you, and some some. I say random. I've been on the show more times than all that. But you know, it's not like we've we've load someone into the rank bank for a threesome. It's kind of like, you know, there's there's a lot of people in. There's a lot of people in here today. Um, and it's it goes further than that. I mean, we'll talk about it in a minute. It, it, we've changed up the format a little bit. We've added a little bit of dash of cayenne pepper. We spice it up a little bit for everyone. But yeah, that's it. It's full kit rankers. We are here. I say 10 more shirts. It's 20 more shirts again to look through. And as you can probably see at the top, it's 10 one club men uh, we're looking at. Uh, thanks to one of our guest suggestions. I say one of yeah, one of our guest suggestions. He's coming through about fifty. Um, he's nonstop. I love it. I absolutely love it. He does more work on this show than I do at the moment. You're doing more work than I do. <laughs> Booking the guests up till the twelfth of July. What, what, what do I do? I sit here and look pretty. I guess. I, I, but I'm happy with that. That's more. It's more than enough. That, you do it well. Well, thank you very much. Well, last week you called me ugly, so. Um, <laughs> It's nice to see a nice change there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you don't, but you don't remember that, do you? But you don't remember that. Your <laughs> honour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, there's no Sean here this week. He is. I think I'm sure. I don't know what he's doing. He's doing something. Uh, so he but he has, has ranked. Yeah. He has ranked. Um, and as always, we are sponsored by the lovely people over at Retro Football Kits. Um, and yeah, we've we can get give you ten percent off. That's pretty much what we can do. Uh, go and check out retrofootballkits.co.uk uh, and go and get ten percent off your lovely, lovely shirts. Uh, with talking kit ten, that is the discount code that we have, and we want to for you to use it all and all of your lovely shirts that you get. Obviously, as always, I have some of the shirts here behind me. Uh, well, one of the shirts behind me. Um, that will be featured obviously on today's show and I've got one on as well actually, uh, I'm showing one off, um, another shirt, I've, I've kind of raided them this week to be fair mate, I've kind of <laughs> gone in, that's on the show, that's on the show, are you coming with me? So yeah, I've had to do that, um, that one for sure. So yeah, make sure you go to retrofootballkits.co.uk, talking kit 10 and go and get 10% off all those lovely Lovely shirts. Um, Jay's ranked as well. So Jay's come in and he has done uh, 10 shirts for us. Uh, 20 shirts, I should say. And yeah, also as well, if you haven't seen it, Jay has done a Desert Island Kits that came out uh, on Monday. Do make sure you go and see that. That is absolutely amazing. Um, he goes and speaks about five of his shirts that he will take a Desert Island. It's basically a top five in my collection, but we dress it up. Uh, totally unique format. No one's ever used uh, anything to do with a desert island before. Um, you know, we're not here to play drives in any way. Um, but yeah, go and check it out after this. Um, the desert island kits were on episode five. A lot more coming up, which I'm excited for. But there we go. Um, there we go. I've managed to get it up for you. Ten percent off your orders. Retro football kits using Top and Kit Ten. Uh, yeah, there we go. So go make sure you do that. Right, let's get into this week's episode. We've rambled on enough. Let's get our wonderful guests on. I'm thinking which way to do it, which order. I think we should get the reg the, the person who's normally on. on. Um, he's a friend of the show. Uh, he's probably, like I said, 
he's the hardest working man on fucking Rankers. He's definitely had more hard working than me. That's funny. <laughs> I I piece everything together last minute on a on a Wednesday afternoon, really. Uh, but he's always in the comments. He's always got conversation. He knows his kits really well. I love talking with him, whether that be on the show, um, joining in the DMs. We slide in each other's DMs quite a lot on, on Twitter and stuff, even Instagram. And he's just a great kit aficionado, and I love talking with him. And it's great to have him back on the show. It is, of course, Andy Jackson's dear dude. How you doing, mate? You okay? Oh, yeah, we're good. Good evening. Happy to be here for the hat trick, I believe. Third appearance. Hat-trick we've got ball. a game of ball. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I think we all have 15 people with balls now, so we're going to have to start <laughs> trying to find some. Uh, even if it's a flyaway, I'm not really bothered. It's somewhere <laughs> in it. And we'll sign him and send it down, mate, for sure. Uh, but no, thank you for coming on. Uh, you know, making an appearance. It's, it's it's really great to see you again, mate. Yeah, no problem at all. Yeah, happy to. No, I yeah, love it. Man. Um, we'll speak about the, the the shirts and that when we get our, our next guest on. Um, but yeah, I know from the DMs you were very much tri- struggling with this one. I'll tell a funny story. Yeah, I, uh, a few different know. lists I wrote out before I gave him my final one. To be fair. A lot, of, a lot of flip-flopping about. <laughs> we, love, we love a flip-flop on this show. Absolutely love a flip-flop on this show. Right, okay. So our next guest, and I think this is... I, I, you know what, Dom? I'm going to let you do an intro because I do all the intros. And I feel... <laughs> Wait, you, I'm, not, you, I'm not prepared. What? I don't prepare nothing. This It's always off the top of my head. I think I'm going to put I you can on set, the spot. I can set you up and say that this is what I would consider for the community and for the exposure that he's had of late and just the graph that he puts in this for us is a coup like, oh, yeah. this is it this is a stellar guest and i'm over the moon to have him on absolutely you know you got you're not gonna say his name Are you no, i was setting you i was setting you up <laughs> well what what more can i say i mean if you follow me on social media you see he's been over in qatar doing wonders um for the world cup you know he's he's one of the pillars of the community in terms of football kits and you know it's i'm really happy that he's here with us this evening even though his team as we probably think of it i've been beaten by my team but that's fine it, you know hopefully he sticks around and he's all right with that but it is the wonderful alan mash hello mate how are you doing there's a there's a couple of things i want to just point out straight away firstly that build-up doesn't bode well for the shit internet that I've got in a mountain <laughs> that's being powered by a couple of fish in a stream uh, here in Spain. So that that's that's not a great build because the internet's just going to cut out of it at some point. Uh, yeah, so good. I'm I'm really I'm really good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that uh, that introduction. I don't know about doing wonders, but um, yeah, it's been a it's been a wild couple of months. Uh, brought brought back down to earth by being on a very cold hillside in Spain. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'd rather a cold hillside in Spain than a cold hillside in Mosley, where I am at the moment. But, you know, <laughs> each their own, mate. Each their own. Uh, but no, thank you, all, all three of you, obviously, being here, Dom the regular. Um, as we are looking at 10 One Club men, uh, 20 shirts we've had to sort of rank and look through, similar to last week. You know, get, we're getting more and more shirts, um, it seems. Did anyone, we always ask the question, did anyone struggle with... The, the rankings, how did you find it? Was it a tricky one or was it some shirts you thought, that's got to be near the top or some near the bottom even? There was only, there was only one one set where I really liked both shirts. Okay. In every pair, there's generally one I liked and one I didn't like. So it was really me, hard to... Let me guess, was it normally the, the latest shirt that you didn't like and it was the earliest shirt you did like? Yeah, funny, yeah. Funny enough, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, obviously, I didn't rank this week. Well, I felt I felt like it was the same for me actually. Uh, Alan, how did you find it? Was it something? Yeah, I'm or... more of a I'm, I'm I'm more of a definitive person. I've just literally looked at those pictures and gone, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, and, and then just wrote that down in that order particularly. Uh, but I'm, uh, I'm I'm pretty much the same. I think the majority of the older ones. Uh, there's a few exceptions. I'll, I'll explain those as we go through. But yeah, majority of the older ones uh, seem to seem to win through. But I, I think that's because. That's why we get into it. Nobody, nobody just goes, "Oh, I love a long Macron shirt that doesn't fucking fit me." <laughs> now I'm into shirts. Um, so yeah, so that's 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 never how it starts. It tends to be the old style stuff that you fall in love with, isn't it? So that's probably the easiest way to rank them. Absolutely. Uh, don't you think you're thinking the same, mate? It was kind of 
Yeah, well, I think we've uh, de depending on which way you approach it, because obviously we give people free reign. And we say if you, if you want it relative to a nostalgia or a memory or the player itself or uh, the shirts themselves, I, I did it as as a as a combined pairing, which which two combined I'd kind of like to have in my collection. Then with a, a bit of like memory thrown in, but it, yeah, it was it was difficult. But yeah, by and large, older better, newer worse. Yeah, absolutely. Um... I've, I've, I've no pressure on me this week. I'm absolutely buzzing about it. I can just enjoy, hopefully get some flip-flops. Uh, I think Jay, I spoke to Jay. Jay found it the uh, same as you. I think he, some of the shirts he really loves. And, and he obviously, he's, he's given me some notes, which is really nice of him. Sean's managed to do night out ratings. So I think he's combined the two to have a total score out of 20. So that's always good <laughs> to have. Um, so we're, we're ready to rock. We're ready to rock and roll. So before we get into this week's episode, I've not said it yet, so I will say it. If it is your first time talking kit, or maybe it's not, be sure to smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel, it's absolutely free. And, you know, where else are you getting a great panel of guests and me thrown in for nothing, you know what I'm saying? So smash the subscribe button and bell notification for every time we're dropping content. It's happening every Monday and Wednesday at the moment. We really are smashing through it. So, yeah, be a part of the community and become a kit head. That's what we like to call you all. So, yeah, let's get into this week's episode then. 10, one club men from 10... To one, let's start. Number 10. I have to say, universally, the worst, <laughs> the worst pair of shirts. No one really liked these two, I have to say. Um, nine points overall. So, yeah, I mean, didn't even get double figures. So, that kind of tells you usually what it is. Um, and it is, well, I'll get the first shirt up, and then I can tell you the player and some stats about him. And it is. Noel Bailey from Linfield, played for Linfield. Between 1988 and 2011, he had 1,013 appearances, scoring 11 goals, which is a shocking ratio. Uh, but I think he was a defender. I'll let him off. I think he was a defender. Um, but yeah, so that is the first, the first shirt he had in 1988. Uh, it's a humble effort. I think that's quite nice, really. Um, I kind of, it's all Europe shirts as well. I, I was struggle to get some pictures from South, from South American teams and J-League. So hopefully with a bit more research later on, we can do a rest of the world one club men because we were a few players. Uh, so it is all European teams. So yeah, Northern Ireland, Linfield. Yeah, it, that shirt alone, I think is it, great. Um, personally, I like it. Only nine points for both shirts. We will start off, Don, let's start off with you. Uh, you had it ninth on on your list for the pair. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll just get up the, the second one. Was it Was it literally the second one? That was letting it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Exa yeah, exactly that. I think um, I, the the one that's uh, worse than this for me is the fact that the disparity between the two, like if one of them's good but the other one is absolutely dreadful, I've kind of mm -hmm. it's made me it's made me annoyed about it as a parent. <laughs> to be to be fair, um, but yeah, this itself, I think I don't know. Template Sunday League FC. The fact that obviously it's double. Double diamond. Um, obviously, we like it on some shirts, but I don't know in that in that font and stuff as well. Um, yeah, I know they've had it for a while as well over that period. Um, yeah, just too too much of, of a chasm between good and bad for me to to get overly enamoured by this as a pairing. To be honest, I won't I won't want that anywhere near my collection. Uh, the other one, on the other hand, gorgeous. I'll take that any day of the week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. As, as you should, it is, it is a really nice sort of 80s Hummel, Hummel effort. Let's get to, through the two that wasn't here. Um, Sean, Sean had it seventh on his list. Um, I'm saying this probably over one. And I, I think he does like blue, obviously being a Stockport fan. Uh, Umbro, I think he likes Umbro as well. Uh, Jay had it 10th, um, bottom of his list. And he just said, uh, cool first kit, dead second kit. <laughs> Andy, we'll come to you. With with the, the second one, I mean, we'll come to you on on, on the Hummer one. Do you think this they all going to? Yeah, do you think on the on this one, the second one, because it's around 2011, it doesn't look like it's the tailored by Umbro. Do you think if it was that, and he put a bit more effort and he wanted a, a template, it might be a little bit better? I don't know about the, the white lines on the shoulders. It looks like the Cameroon kit where they had the vest and they had to sew the sleeves on. <laughs> Yeah, it does. You're right. And as soon as I saw that and the umbro.com across the middle, it's, it just looks like you say, like Sunday League. It just looks really an amateur, t amateur shirt. 
which is a shame because the crest is a really nice crest from Linfield. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's, yeah, the, but the shirt, yeah, it's, it's, it, that does nothing at all for me. It's got the nice, the checker pattern, same as like the Rangers shirt from last week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, no, like... which in itself is nice, but just the, yeah, the white lines, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's not a great template shirt. No, no, I agree. Uh, also, the, Hummel, the Hummel one, though, is, is really nice. I do like that. That's classic 80s Hummel. I think um, there's a, quite a few clubs. I think Southampton, when they had their Hummel shirts, they may have had a similar, similar design for one of their away shirts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that, and that, that's, is that... So even though that you really love this one, is was the, the 2011 shirt enough to make you put it bottom then, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the the uh, the newer shirt there that put that put that bottom for me. <laughs> if it was this one on its own, it'd been lot it'd been it'd been a lot higher. Yeah, no, oh, mate, that, that's absolutely fair. Uh, Alan, we'll finish off for you on this one then. Yeah, tenth as well. Is I'm it just, just a? I just have to completely agree. Like, like Andy's just said, like being decisive there. Home, great. Or the first one, should I say? I'm, I'm so used to saying home and away. First, great. Second, what is it? it, it honestly, you're right with that Cameroon analogy. It looks like your nans gave you a vest for Christmas and forced you to put it on over your Ralph Lauren jammers. And you've kind of got nan, come on, what we're we doing here? It's horrific. It's who who puts this on a computer screen and goes, that's all right. It's not, it's not all right. <laughs> Take it off the computer screen, burn the computer, and never try and turn it back on again. It's horrific. <laughs> the first one, on the other hand, I love it. I lo- I, and like you were saying there, you, you can't possibly make those any higher in the list purely, purely because of that shirt there that's on the screen. The other one, yeah. brilliant. And if it has, I, I would just put a, a training bib as the second shirt. That would get more vote than that one. Anything. <laughs> Anything, just a pair of underpants that the player once wore would have got more votes and it would have got higher on the list. It is so bad, so bad. It, it, it's not great. Um, I, it looks like my old school uh, football team kit, which got robbed. And now I think we know we robbed it. It's bloody Linfield. To be honest with you. No, they they brought that back. If anybody yeah. robbed it, they give it back. <laughs> they didn't. They used it for the season. Well, anyway, there we go. Uh, Linfield and No Bailey, sadly, even with his 1,000 appearances. Uh, it's coming in dead last, unfortunately. Nine points overall. I'll just give you Sean's now rating. Uh, for the both, he's given it a 12.6. Um, 7.6 for the old school one. And a 10. No, he didn't. It's a 5 for... <laughs> The 2011 shirt, obviously. Um, Not liking that one. Right, let's move on then to number nine on our list. Uh, And this is how bad people thought these two shirts were because I've never seen a jump from 10 to nine this big all the time we've been doing full kit rankings. But in ninth, with 21 points, right, is... There he is. Oh, he's crying. Look what you've made. Look what you've done to him in that kit. It was terrible. Um... (laughs) For for uh, no Baylor. It's, anyway, move on. You, you last. It's this, and it's Eric Sikora from Lons. Twenty-one points overall. So his first. Uh, so this first shirt is from. Sorry, I've got three tabs open here with loads of notes. I'm, I apologise. I've got to go through the notes I've made, then Jay's notes, and then Sean's night out rating. So I do apologise. It's come a bit slow. From 1985 to 2004, 497 appearances with 18 goals. Um, yeah, so this is from 1985. I personally love it. Obviously, it doesn't matter what I think. I've not ranked. Uh, let's kick off with Andy. Let's start with you. Uh, six on your list. Um, I have a funny story about this because you sent your rankings in really early. Like, <laughs> early first, I've never known. I think I literally sent send on the email and it came straight back. That's how quick the rankings were. And I said to you, you know, you've got all day, mate. And you had this quite low. And I said, no, you've got all day. And then you waited a little bit, came back, and it jumped up from, was it 10th to 6th? It went from 9th to 6th. It was one of my many lists, little copies of the list. Oh, OK. So I don't um, want to feel like I've applied pressure there or anything, making it jump up. We still finished ninth anyway, so it don't really matter. But, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, so there we go. What were you thinking? Um, on the, obviously, the 1985 and then obviously the 2004, that sort of template from around that Nike shirt. What were your thoughts around, around these two? Was it the older one that's kind of really forced you to... To put it higher up, or yeah, definitely. <laughs> that, that that new one there is oh, I, I can't stand that. That's shocking. 
I mean, it's red and yellow with orange as a sponsor. I mean, that's, that's just not, that's never going to work. No. <laughs> that's just ridiculous. At least, I think the season before, they blacked it out. And the season after as well. What, what was with this then? Why did they leave this one like this? And, and it's just that I saw. But I, I agree with what you're saying. But in, in terms of the, the, the first shirt, what were your thoughts on that? Well, see, so I remember I had this from. This template, oh, yeah. and it's not the same template, but it's, it's from about the same time, Adidas, yellow and red. And this Longs one is the first shirt from that time that I feel I've got in the same colours. And so I studied it a bit more, and it's got classic French supermarket sponsor. It's got a great little touch up in the corner above the Adidas badge, where it's got like the region of where Longs is from, and just little touch like that. And it just, I thought I just, I just really liked it. I think it's a good, it's a, Good Adidas template shirt from the time. Yeah, the badge yeah. sponsor, everything there, all in black against the against the yellow and red. Just it just looks the part. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm, a big, I'm a big fan. I am a big fan. Um, so Jay had this ninth, and he says decent ish kits, but meh. Um, and Sean had them dead last in his list. Uh, Alan, we'll come to you on these ones. You followed Andy in having these six. Um, again, I guess it's going to be the theme, obviously, because we've all said, is it just the newer shirt letting what could look like a classic shirt down in some of these? Do you know the newer one just has to be slightly better? And and and, and I think everybody else has it around about six as well. My, my issue with that one is, well, two issues. I don't think orange were meant to be the sponsor. I think that was a quiz question that they were trying to answer. What happens if you put red and yellow together and somebody <laughs> shouted orange and they go, yeah, just put that on the shirt, that'll do. My, my other issue is, and Forrest have done this with a Macron shirt in the last couple of years, is do you know where that little line goes underneath? Yeah, That's just where my beer belly sits. And, <laughs> and any shirt that tries to accentuate my gut doesn't get a great vote from me. And that's and that's exactly there. That's that line. They've, they've, they've ruined it. I, I quite like the little line on the, on the sleeves as well. So they, there's a little bit of detail in there. You kind of go, oh, that's kind of nice. That's different. That's all right. But yeah, that, that line underneath your gut and then the word orange splashed across the middle just was never going to win for anybody. But the other one, the, the older one is just, it's fantastic, isn't it? Even, even the collar's different. You know whether whether the you know the, whether the first model accidentally ripped it and they just thought fuck it we'll stitch it back together and that's how it ended up looking and they went I'll oh, go with that we'll just go with that look at that brilliant you know because then that way when a player grabs you around the neck during the eighties no one realizes because your collar was yeah. already scruffy and you carry on um, yeah I think I, I, it, there's there's so much to go at it as Andy says obviously the detail on the on the top right corner of the of the shirt the top shoulder it's brilliant you know, we should we should all do little bits like that. You know, Manchester United could have some sort of druggie in the top corner, like you know, wearing a hoodie like that, that like you know, just to just to resemble the local area. So yeah, I have to get that in. You did a forest joke early doors, so I thought I'll just wait and I'll wait and I'll wait and I'll buy my time, and there it is. You see, <laughs> look at that. I'll, 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 I'll put together some. Go on, what are you gonna say, mate? I'll put some together. Yeah, you should. He comes in like Robin Hood, stealing jokes. Robin, Robin from us. <laughs> um, at first, I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know that Andy, what you said there, obviously that about being the region uh, of, of the little heart. It just looks like a big fan of Blackpool to me. There, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, love a night out in Blackpool. Christmas lights. Lons fans are there. Let me say. Uh, Don, we'll finish off with you on this one because you had this or these set third overall. Yeah. Um, I think Wow. I, I could I could live with a mate as a pair. Um, I think the obviously the older ones are a ton better. There's still bits of it that that are not massively keen on that that neck that looked like it's been ragged about. So is that uh, I don't know you look like one of them kids who's going out after watching Blue and you used to go to Burton's to get them knitted jumpers and you go out to town to pick a little twenty one. <laughs> I think you're the business and you'd be roasting your balls off. Um, but yeah, that aside, I think it's joyous. I think uh, Lance themselves play about with the colours uh, that you can see a bit later on because they, they don't just have the you know the half and half scene in the later one or the full block yellow, as you see in this one. They've, they've got checkers, they've got hoops, they've got stripes. Um, yeah. They've also returned to that that supermarket sponsor since like 2017, I think. Um, but that itself with the regional aspect, 
Um, we've seen your little nods towards that on like Fiorentina shirts before, uh, yeah. and we all we all love it. Um, I think the fact that it's there, and you know it'll be that uh, felt application. That's just typif- typifies what an older shirt should be for me. Uh, and I think that's that's as good as making it be high up my list as the ones that are bad making the pairing be lower down my list. Um, but even that um, the newer one, I'm not too too distraught about that. I think it's a bit of fun. Uh, obviously, if, as Alan says, you, you're struggling with mixing any kind of primary colours and then having to understand what a secondary colour is. It's a lesson there for the kids as well. So, yeah, yeah all good. It is. I'm surprised no one's mentioned the template because it, it was that night template where the night tick was minuscule. Like, honestly, yeah. I'm struggling to see it now. Um, also, as well, I, obviously, I like to have pictures of players. I'm not sent, I didn't send them to you today because for this for this episode, I thought 30 and odd or 40 pictures is too much. But um, I couldn't actually find Eric Sakura in this shirt, which obviously tells you two things. <laughs> It was just that bad. No one ever wanted to take pictures of it, or I'm really bad at research. But it's probably the first. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, the only one I could find was a, sig- a signed photo. And every time I tried to get it, it kept. It was like a corrupt file. So again, it shows you how bad this shirt probably is. Uh, yeah. Let's just finish off with Sean's night out rating on this one. A ten. Oh, is it six? No, he's given a six. Um, two, two for the old one. Oh, right. He, he, we need words of him. Uh, I'm, four, I'm four for that. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He's, he's out of 20? Out, out of 20, he's give it a six. And that one only got two. He needs, oh. yeah. It's the bright colours in it. You know what he's like. It probably sets off. They probably have a, <laughs> just knowing him. Right, anyway, moving on then. There we go. Um, Lons, Eric Sakura, second on the list. 21 points overall. Let's go on to number eight. 24 points for this pair of shirts. And we're off to Dortmund. It's Lars Ricken. And yeah, he played for Dortmund between 1993, which is this shirt here, and 2007. But then he did get demoted to the reserves till 2009. So I, I just kept it for Dortmund 1, uh, 2007. 301 appearances with 49 goals. I mean, who should we start with? Let's, let's just go through the two that aren't here. And Sean, do you want to have these ninth? Um, He's on summit tonight. I don't know what's wrong with him. Uh, Jay had it seventh, with his reasons being great start, um, and then dead end. He says, "Yeah, I don't know." There we go. Right, let's get into the rankers that are here. Let's start off with Alan on this one, can we? Um, fifth on your list for the pair of these. So you got the ninety-three, and then the two thousand and seven. Your overriding thoughts on on both of these, Alan? You, you like them both, or? I'm not- no, yeah, I mean, for me, and do you know what? This is this is where people just start pressing the unsubscribe button. Sorry, I, I, I don't, I don't get into the, I don't buy into the whole Dortmund thing. Um, I, do you know? Honestly, I, I, I scroll through Twitter and I, I realise which fuck has been paid that week because they go, <laughs> oh, but Dortmund's oh, well done you for getting paid. Because um, I, I don't know, I just feel like when you first get into collecting, you get you get sucked into this. Um, fake Nintendo Fiorentina shirt or the, or this one. And it's like, you know, you oh, I've got to have one of them. If, if anybody's going to take me serious, I've got to have one of these. And, you know, no, you haven't. Honestly, you haven't. Th- this one especially, I'm just like, oh, it's a mess, isn't it? I mean, I, I like, I've got enough crazy shirts in the in the close to 300 or whatever I've got. There's enough crazy shirts. I, I just can't quite get on board with these ones. Not not that I'm saying I prefer the other one, because I don't. I, I don't prefer the other one. The, these are, these are just sort of like, yeah, they're okay, but I just couldn't possibly put them up here where people have them. You know, like people just, I, I just we know people and they're just like, yeah, they've got to be right up here. This one, this one's great. Get around the golf with Tiger Woods in. Look at that. That is, <laughs> that is prime your dad getting ready to play golf. Take Evo Nick off that and put Big Tone on the middle and just tell him his tea time's four o'clock. He'd love it. He'd absolutely love it. <laughs> You, you, you're spot on. I think, I think you're spot on. I mean, my daughter's nine months old. And she can call him inside the lines better than that. That's just, that's horrific. What, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, Dom, we'll come to you uh, on on these two then. Because um, you didn't like these even more than anyone else. You had 10. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, didn't, I, I despised one of them. All right. Yeah. Okay. This one. one of them, yeah. 
yeah, this one, Drake Ramberg, icon, doing okay. stuff that's still still relevant today. People still going mad over, much to Al's annoyance. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think uh, the one the ones that this is sandwiched in between uh, are better, but it's still it's a typical nineties Dortmund shirt, and most people really like them. Um, but yeah, the other ones just abhorrent. Uh, I can't that I can't abide that sponsor. I think that aside, it'd be absolutely fine. But the fact that they did this across all the shirts for that season, it's just oh, I don't know unless it was like a late sponsorship deal uh, if they had them before. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not great. That one just really pissed me off. It's just I don't know. It it was more so again the the difference between the two. It's like looking at yourself on. A night out and thinking, looking sharp, our kid, yeah. <laughs> and then seeing photos the next day, like you actually look like that. Yeah. It's not. It didn't. Do, yeah, it didn't do it any favors. Oh, mate, I, I agree with this. I, I, I think this is the first time I've properly seen this shirt. Uh, in researching it, oh. I, I think I think there's pub teams that would turn this down. I don't think there's, I don't think there's anything attractive about this shirt. So, and you're, you're right. That sponsors a lot like West Ham when there's when they have to have the numbers <laughs> on the front. I mean, like. That's how bad it looks for me, for me anyway. Andy, let's come to you then. I'll finish off uh, with your thoughts on these two. Because um, you, you had him third on, on your list. Really? Is so it, <laughs> 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 first, well, first, which first list? They did about 12 lists. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, yeah um, which one it is. Um, so, I mean, is there something to be said about these shirts? The, the older sort of 90s Dortmund shirts being a little bit overhyped. Personally, I, I, prefer, I prefer the black, the, the away ones, the black ones, to, to some of the home ones. But for you, how do you feel about these? And then obviously the two, two in general. Out of the 90s Dortmund shirts, I think I would buy this one. Mm-hmm. I, when I saw this picture, it sort of jumped out. I think it's because it's got the, the, the amazing sponsor, which is so 90s Dortmund. Yeah. And... I did like the the um the etching style scratchy pattern around it. Yeah. And it was that that put it put the put the ranking high for me. Because the other shirt it's I mean, <laughs> honestly. I mean the sponsor is just so small because yeah. of the big red because of the big um the black rectangle. And we say now about the Dortmund sponsor and the black square and et cetera, et cetera. But if you compare that to this and so I mean, what are they thinking? I, don't, I mean, why why not put the black rectangle all the way around the shirt? Yeah, why well, stop? Then you've got these, under the sleeves, you've got this little yellow gap as well, and it's just it just looks so unfinished. Ah, oh, that looks better. Did you yeah, that was better. Without, without the sponsor, it looks a lot better than it. You yeah, like. see, that's straight away. That's that's times ten improvement, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's, it's it's another one of those questions that like how does it get agreed when they go through the process and the club look at it and go yeah that's what we want yeah i, th- I think yeah. it's probably you know bang on the uh the head there what dom said it probably maybe was a late sponsorship um yeah. and, and, it, and it's been it's been plastered on uh for anyone that's interested um sean's night out rating was 11 seven for the old or uh, the night is and four four for, wait hold on four for that and yet, that old lot only got. In... He's having a laugh. He's a genuine laugh. I'm, it I'm... was. It was their first season with that sponsor as well. Yeah. Oh, it makes sense. It, you know, it's a late, late sponsorship. But I can't I... believe the sponsor have seen that as well and seen how small it looks on the shirt. And they've gone, yeah, yeah, we're happy with that. I don't know how they didn't. They didn't learn from the season before when they would had a really nice white and yellow striped shirt, and that that sponsor was like a yellow exclamation mark in a green box. So <laughs> I don't know. Someone didn't get sacked when they should have been. They look like car stickers, genuinely. Like, <laughs> like, put on, like American bumper stickers. That's what it looks like. Um Andy, anything else you need to finish on or are you all Dortmund out? And I had that third. <laughs> that yeah. third. Yeah. Well, the shirts I've ranked two to two to eight must have been just really close together. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there we go then. Lars Ricken, Lucia Dortmund, coming eighth on our list, 24 points overall this week. Let's go into number 
I'd be interested to fight two fights with 26 overall, and it is this. It is, let me make sure I get his name out, Manolo Sanchez, uh, Real Madrid, from 83 to 2001, 523 appearances, scoring 33 goals. So here we obviously have the 1983 shirt. Um, great year, year I was born. Um, so, you know, if it, if it, if I was ranking, it would have been, it still would have been one, but I like Madrid. Uh, right, let's go through our rankers. Who have we got? Where have they put them? Um, so, Sean had this six on his list. Jay had these four, and he says, uh, two bangers, great era for shirts too. I know he was born in about 96, so I don't know what you're talking about, the 80s being a great era for shirts. <laughs> Fucking nonsense. Um, so, yeah, that's what them two think. Uh, let's start off with, Andy, we'll come to you, finish with you, we'll start with you on this one, because you had these eight on your list, had a pair. So, you've got the 83, and then, you know, very famous looking um 2001 shirt from Real Madrid. Do, do you agree with Jay? A good era for shirts in both uh, and sort of seen as sort of classic? Um, yeah, I mean, everyone sort of knows the Real Madrid, the, the Teca sponsor from that time. Yeah. And, I mean, um, which year was this one? So this was 2001. Was that Steve Manaman? Was he there then? Or was that... I think he may have been with Figo. I think so. Yeah. yeah I'm trying to think of who else was there at the time. Figo, Guti, Raul. Um... Is it the Galacticos? Was it the start? Yeah. The start. Yeah. Of... yeah. yeah. Figo. Well. I think it was just on the the era, era of when they started. I think. Yeah. But um, the the eighty the eighty shirt is uh, it's it's quite a basic looking shirt. Yeah. But. It's got the Zanussi sponsor, big flappy collar. It's more purple than blue, isn't it? The, uh, the stripes. Yeah. yeah. So it's a proper classic Madrid early 80s looking shirt. And again, I, I really like that. I prefer this one to the other one. Yeah. It's, uh, no, it's, it's really nice. Uh, the, the purple tray file as well is really nice as well. Nice little touch. Um, John, we'll come to you, shall we? Um, fourth on your list for, for this pair. Was this one of the ones that was a strong, one of the ones that have a strong pairing together? Yeah, definitely. I think <clears throat> could obviously have both within my collection and there'd definitely be a preference, but the other one, um, the, the newer one, there's there's elements for that which I like. I know Adidas are now doing, obviously, that hem around the bottom, as we've seen on like a load of the World Cup shirts on, on one side of it. Uh, I like the fact that it's got them grey patches underneath the armpits for when, when you sweat. You can't tell. Um, that's very considerate of the designers to do that. Um, and I think, yeah, I think I, um, I disagree with Jay. I think this is when um, in between those two shirts, I think the late 80s and up to, up to the 2000s, that's when shirts were really at, at their peak. But I think that's a generational thing. But I think this was a, you know, classy enough on the way out. But I think the original one, just screams to me like regal, um, like classic, and uh, had some kind of Saturday Night Fever vibes as well. Like <laughs> one, a couple of chains on, a few like, well, a bit of me love rug hanging out of it, um, and yeah, I think just that that kind of off white as well just lends itself with the kind of regal nature of the crest uh, the like the crown above it and then the purple which is obviously taken from the badge as well uh, the fact that the adidas is in the trefoil and purple as well is just it's just gorgeous I, i'm in love with it it's the first season they used a sponsor as well and they picked a picked a doozy so yeah even in the black it stands out i could just imagine you're walking down the street two rings oh. knuckle that say kit king on your both your knuckles <laughs> <That's true. Right. laughs> Hey, Halloween, mate, it's got to be done. Buy this shirt and get that outfit started, mate. Yeah, I, I don't think I'd be able to afford one, to be fair. <laughs> summon, summon up us out. Let, you know, let's let's see if it's there. Retro, you get 10% off. Oh, mate, we started you out. Let's see if Jay can source one for us. Uh, right, <laughs> we'll finish off with Alan. Um, Alan, who's seventh on your list, you've got it bang on in, in where, they've, where they've landed. What were your thoughts on, on both of these as, as a pair? 
So I, you know, part of my collection is Real Madrid. So putting this in seventh hurts a little bit. But part of my decision making between the two was bitterness as opposed to anything else. I actually went with my heart instead of my head in all of the thought process for, for these two shirts, especially the first one. So I had the I had the, the the newer shirt as my number one of the two. And that's because as a fat man that lives abroad, sweating is a problem. So having those great patches, as, as Dom said, is perfect just to have, even if I nip down the road to a loaf of bread past all the yaks on the side of the road, I'm not looking like I'm sweating. I am internally. I'm sweating a lot. So that one always wins. The bitterness comes with the other one knowing that some fucker's going to rob me if I have to buy it one day and it's just going to hurt me emptying my wallet to actually get one. And so I just went, no, you're not winning purely on that basis. I know you're the best shirt, but a bit like I tell my kids, I'm in charge. You'll do as I say. And I I, I just can't be asked to spend all that money on that great shirt. You're right. You'd have to wear that with a massive gold chain though, wouldn't you? You'd have to be wondering down the street what singing drugs don't kill people, rappers do, or whatever it is from the Goldie looking chain. That's that's what you'd have to be whistling wearing that shirt. That that'd be the one. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, spot on. I, I, I agree with every, everything everything you've said. Um, for seventh on your list, let's get Sean's now rating a thirteen overall, which is not a bad score. Six for this one. I think yeah, he has a he has a problem with white. He's not racist. He does have a problem with white. Unfortunately. Um, and seven for this, he, he had, which I understand, a bit more colour in it for him. But yeah, there we go. Seven on our list. Uh, 26 points overall is Manolo Sanchez and Real Madrid. I don't know if I give you things. Maybe I did. Um, let's move on then to yeah, 83 2001. 523 appearances and 33 goals. If I didn't do it already, let's move on then to number six. And we're actually saying in Spain, 28 points overall. And it's this one right here behind me. It's absolute wonder. Beautiful. And it is who y'all are. Carles, I, I, I struggle to say his first name. No one can help me. I don't want to get it wrong. Um, it's not Carlos, is it? Even though that's what people call him. <laughs> it's who y'all. That's who it is. It's the Spanish Gary Neville. That's who it is. Uh, from Barcelona, 99 to 2014. 392 appearances, only 12 goals. Sean had these in third place and Jay had them in sixth place. Jay saying, lovely start, uh, mediocre end, but not too bad. Yeah, it's one of my favourite Barcelona shirts of all time. I absolutely love it. Uh, reminds me of 99, uh, the Champions League games v Manchester United, where we had to wear our away shirt at home, which would have annoyed... Uh, Max from Fit for Fans with Was That Fucking Necessary? If you've ever seen that series on TikTok. Well, I, I mean, a, a beautiful shirt. You know, you can say the home shirt for this season follows it a little bit with them darker sleeves. Let's go. Alan, we'll start with you on, on, on these because um, this was your number one uh, pairing. Yeah, but th- this, is where, this is where I feel like you've got two opposite guests here because clearly Andy's put some thought and, pr- and everything into this. Whilst he's, whilst he's fired you an email back immediately and then tried to unsend frantically on his keyboard like he's just offered you a thousand pounds. He's then obviously sent you list after list after list. See, I was, and I'll be honest with everybody, I was completely the opposite. You've sent me a list of shirts. You've then, you've then nudged me. Then you've nudged me again. And then the last time you've nudged me, I'm mid-commentary on a bloody race event. And I'm just, all of a sudden, I've started in mid-commentary going, oh, that's amazing. Now, they think I'm talking about this skier. I'm not. I was actually looking at some of the shirts, you know. And I think I've just got put off. I've just got put off completely from the commentary, completely from the shirts, and I've ended up putting Barcelona number one. And instantly, the moment you put that picture there, I've started to regret it because there's a reason that there's a reason that I didn't like the Arsenal one, and then now I've spotted it in the Barcelona one. I thought, oh, you fucking idiot, you you're hypocrite! I am hypocrite. But there you go. So this this was probably a, there was probably a very good race. I mean, I'm in Spain. It was probably a very good race on the on the on the on the course, and I've just gone. Yeah, that'll do. Um, so yeah, apologies. I've probably not concentrated a lot, but that's definitely better than the other one. Easy. There's no contest with that. That's this. Yeah, that looks, what's that? And you know what that reminds me of? And, 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 and I'm going to get shot down in flames here because I've literally just finished the World Cup. I I can't stand Neymar. And that, that just reminds me of him. Yeah, no, man, yeah. That's if I when you say you know when you see these things on Twitter, they go, which player does this shirt remind you of? And I instantly go past that because I can't be asked. But that one, that one just screams Neymar, and I just go, Oh god, it's Neymar. 
you know, <laughs> I think that's that's the one. Although somebody's now going to tell me he didn't play in it, but that's definitely the shirt that reminds me of him. No, he did. He, def- he definitely did. Uh, I, I was going to say the same. I look at that shirt, I think, of, uh, of Neymar, yeah. Um, Dom, you love Neymar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, <they're- laughs> you had these in uh, eighth place, these, these shirts. Is it, again, is it just a newer one letting down what is really a Barcelona classic shirt? It's a, just a big, yeah, just a big massive step down. And obviously with uh, Al pointing towards that little brat, uh, it's the reason it was so low down is because even as a pairing, I really, really like the the original or well, the the older one. Yeah. But if if I was having like a like a kids party and I had to get like parents to say, oh, who's coming? And they say, well, Johnny's coming, and so so Neymar Neymar Junior's on his way. So I like, fuck, don't call it off. I don't want. I don't want to. It, it, the first one's really good, lovely kid, yeah. more than welcome. This little twat, no chance. The gradient on the sleeves, the pale, like tramps piss yellow. Like I'm not, yeah, I'm not feeling it at all. Yeah, no, just too think, much of a letdown. I think, I, obviously, I'm harking back to my own team. Obviously, United were with Nike at this time. I just remember Nike because I remember this. I was so excited when United got Nike back in 2002. What I wanted as a kid. So it's seeing Arsenal with Nike and thinking, why can't we have that? Stuck with Umbro, even though Umbro cool, don't get me wrong. And we got him, and it just seemed to just be, apart from 2006 to 2010, maybe. But the rest was all shite. And I think Nike were really going through a bad period during the sort of 2013 to sort of 16, 17, maybe. I, I, I agree, but, you know, you look back at the 90s and it's just absolutely wonderful. Andy, um, for you, I mean... Alan yes, said Calvin. you put thought into it, but maybe this was one of the, the lists you, you weren't meant to send. You had it in ninth place overall. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. So what? Yeah. So, um, what? The, um, the old one, that shirt, hmm? can't fall with it. I, I do. I really like that shirt. Yeah. The other one, like Dom said, the, the I do like a, a Barca striped shirt, but the sleeves on the the gradient on the sleeves and the same as Don, that the, the color color and the Qatar Airways is it's not one of my favorite ones. And Puyo as well. On the past couple of FIFAs, or the last, well, not this FIFA because I don't play it, but the last couple, I kept packing him in <laughs> icon packs and he was useless. <laughs> <laughs> and it led me to hate him. <laughs> right. So I couldn't be dealing with him anymore. Every time I opened the pack, out he came. And I just, no. It was only Linfield that stopped him going last. Wow. <laughs> That's saying something. That is absolutely just, saying Just on that. Fair, fair enough, mate. Um, yeah, there we go. The reason why Andy hates Carlos Puyo. That's going to be the title of the video, I think, mate. It has to be. And Jackson's jersey hates Puyo. I think that would be nice. Um, Sean, that out rating for anyone again who's, who's interested. 15 overall. He's given it an 8 to to this wonder. Oh, if, you, right. if you know math. So that means he's given this a 7, which I think he's done these drunk. I, honestly, because it was, what time did he give him to me? It must have been about 9, 10 last night. Yeah, he's, he's had a few beers. He's done a, <laughs> he's, he's done a dom, hasn't he? He's done a dom. <laughs> <laughs> decided to throw him in. I bet he, I bet he woke up, looked at his phone. You know, and you have that remorse if you sent a risky text and the mo- like. You go, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've sent him my rankings. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so he had seven for this one. There we go. That's six on our list. Um, Barcelona, Carlos Puyol, twenty-eight points overall um, for the one club men. Just before we get into the next video, we're almost at the halfway point. Smash a like on the video. I know you've not done it yet, so make sure you do it. It's only fair and it's only polite. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Smash that bell notification as well if you want to be alerted every time a full kit rankers or a Desert Island kit comes out. Right, let's move on then. To number five. I'm quite sad. This is this is fifth. I'm not going to lie. Only one point ahead. 29 points overall. Yeah. Probably the quintessential one club man. Legend of a man. Oh, it's... Paolo Maldini. 
coming in fifth overall and 1985 2009 647 appearances 29 goals what a legend what a man who should we go to let's just go through the ones that aren't here that's always the best place to start Sean had these in fourth place and these were Jay's number one uh, shirts which he won't be happy with I guess he just put two bangers great era for shirts too I mean that's a widespread <laughs> theory Jay I think that's like three eras in one that 80s, 90s, and the noughties. But yeah, he's right. 30 years is a great, great time for shirts. Right, let's get into our rankers. Uh, Andy, let's start with you then. And you had these in fifth place, mate. So you've, you've got it spot on uh, this week. With the 18, and then we've got the 2009. What are your thoughts on, on these two as a pair? Black and red stripes. It's just <laughs> iconic. AC Milan is you, you can't really go wrong with them, except on the newer one, the black sleeves, mm-hmm. um, and it's just the stripes on the body, which yeah. puts me off on that one. The eighties one, it's just the stripes going down the sleeves as well. The black cuffs, big collar. It's it just screams vintage. I love it. I love that shirt. It's got a weird sponsor as well, where some Italian book publisher, which is like really random. Yeah, <laughs> which I've never, never, never seen them before. Oscar, I've never really seen that sponsor on an a on a Milan shirt until I saw this picture. Yeah, it's always the other eighties, like uh, Mata and all that, yeah. all that sort of thing that you recognise. So, but yeah, it's the the old one. I'll I'll snap that up in a heartbeat. The, uh, the the newer one is uh, not so much for me. Yeah, absolutely, I agree, mate. Uh, Alan, Alan, we'll come to you. You had these in you had these in ninth place, so it must have been a really rubbish race on at the time. Um, but th- this this reminds me a lot of the shirt they've got this season, where they put it in that box. And I, I, do you agree with Andy when it's got it on the sleeves? That is just quintessential Milan for you. Yeah. It's- I just, I don't know. Obviously, again, we're, we go back to the Dortmund stuff and people were saying, I, I just feel like Milan shirts get a little bit too hyped. But the reason that I ranked these too low isn't necessarily that I'm saying that some Milan shirts aren't good because they are. I just, there's two things here. You're right, that that newer one just doesn't hit the mark, does it? You know, don't don't make the sleeves black when you've got all this stuff to play with. And, and, and yeah, what's the point? Just, just carry on, carry on that pattern down the sleeves. That's how it always should be. My issue with the other one is if you're wet and you're wearing that, that's another five stone you've got to carry around for the rest of the fucking day. <laughs> Those shirts weren't made for playing football in. That's horrific. Honestly, some of the material, and I'm going to say that, and this is where I said to you, obviously I won't concentrate because Inter Milan have got exactly the same problem later on, and they're about five places above them. So don't listen to me, what kids, just turn it off at this point. But that, that sort of material, it gets wet, it gets heavy. What's the point? What's Liam, what's Liam Brady going to do when he weighs another 10 stone? I mean, he was only three to begin with, but you know he's trying to he's trying to drag his ass around a football field with a wet carrier bag. It, it's it's rubbish, I, I, you know. I, and that's and that's why that's why on this occasion Milan is so low for me. I think if you give me two other Milan ones, I'd have probably found another excuse to put them low. It's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> fair, fair, fair one, mate. Um, Dom, finish off with you then on this one, mate. And uh, yeah, seventh on your list. Uh, maybe you agree with with Alan that it's mm-hmm. more than not really classic Milan shirts. No, ni- neither are in what you know. Even the more recent ones, you'd put uh, you'd put ones over that, and then the the older one. I think you can get on board with Mortar in Maladanium or whatever it's called, and um, different different manufacturers, but. Um, to like to have a different manufacturer and to have a different sponsor, it's just it was jar and it looked like some snide version of an AC Milan shirt. Um, and that I thought I was I was interested to find out the sponsor was called Rolly Go, which uh, I don't know what, what they were making before that it must have been like jumpers for rollerbladers, I don't know, but it was yeah, it's just too too different for my liking. That. Rolly Gold sounds like people who make up their own things and they've got a dash quick. I'm just going to roll the gold, mate. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> uh, um, you may have seen a quick picture of Maldini there. 
I apologise because I searched Maldini's last game thinking, <laughs> yeah, he's going to be wearing that shirt. But he's, they've done that annoying thing. And it's my fault for not looking proper. They've done that annoying thing where they wear next season's shirt before the, the end of the season. I mean, yeah. it looks very it looks very similar. It's got the black sleeves, which Andy... Oh, it's better. Out. It's it better. better. Immediately. Yeah, Just show better. that one for the rest of the show. That's better. <laughs> leave that one, leave that one up there. There we go. Um, but it is Paolo Maldini. He has come fifth on our list, 29 points overall. Uh, let's just give you Sean's night out ratings for these two. And he has said he's got a 14.8. I like when he puts the points in eight for the old one and 6.8 obviously for, for the one that no one really likes, I guess. Um, in terms of because of the, the, the sleeves and stuff. Well, there we go. It's Paolo Maldini in Milan. What a legend. 29 points overall. Right, let's get into the top four Champions League places now. And, you know, uh, Alan, give us a little insight of what's coming up. And we are staying in Milan and their neighbours. And you know what? It's a player that I've finally, because I've wrote it so many times, I've learned how to spell Giuseppe properly. I'm not sure you did. It's Giuseppe Bergami, um, who played for Milan between the years of 1979 to 1999, uh, I've got the shirt on here, uh, 99 shirt, uh, 517 appearances, 24 goals for the other Milan club. This is the first shirt that he wore. Obviously. I never knew the was humour as well. That's something new for me, um, researching this. The two that aren't here, Sean had these in eight. Clearly liked red and black rather than blue and black. And he, uh, Jay had these second, and he said... Oh, you never guess what he said. Dom, I'll give you a guess what he said, part of it. What's he said for the last three shirts? Um, it'll be some, like, cool word that the kids use. <laughs> well, he put two bangers, great era for shirts. I think he's oh. thinking a lot of these shirts were in a great era. Thank you, Jay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> while we're with you then, um, Dom, we'll, we'll stay with you then, because you had these six on your list. Um we, you know, not far off. But what were your thoughts on the two Milan shirts? Obviously, we've got the 1979 here, and then, oh, yeah. Then. Obviously, the the difference being that this um, was just that the, again the the puma through me. It's not anything that's like I'd in, instantly attribute to to Inter. Um, yeah. And it was, I think that, that was the first season they'd use a shield as well, like a, a crest. Uh, yeah. And whilst whilst there's a lot to like about it. It just doesn't. It just doesn't feel right. It feels yeah. feels all kinds of wrong. So yeah, that kind of put me off a little bit. But that that newer one, the one that you're wearing, the one with yeah. the um, the two coloured stitching for the Nike, is class. Ties in really well with the badge. Pirelli's obviously just one of the best sponsors ever, uh, and I think that as a as a template works really well. Um, so yeah, really love that one. Just wasn't that keen on the older one. Fair enough, mate. Absolutely fair enough. Uh, Andy will come to you next. Uh, fifth on your, you, you, no, no, sorry, I'm lying. Fourth, you still, you bang on this week, mate. You seem to be getting nailed on, to be fair to you, mate. So, for you, better than, better than Milan. Do you think it's weird? Like, I know it's it, later on, you see less and less stripes. But when I see that to me is a bit Atalanta, do you agree with that? When yeah, I, yeah, I don't like the really thin stripes. That's not yeah. into Milan for me at all. Yeah. And I think like written a few years ago, they had the it was pretty much black with like thin blue pinstripes yeah. in their home shirts, and it was like that's not an Inter Milan home shirt. It should have like the shirt you've got on there. It should have just big wide proper stripes. It should always have Pirelli. They should just have that shirt always, forever. Yeah, yeah, you should. You're right. This should be like a listed building, but on football. They, they, yeah, they they can never better it. So just just keep it forever. I'll, I'll send them an email for you, Andy. I'll see what we can do to make you up. To make you up here. Uh, and, and in terms of the, the new the, the new one, obviously you think of Ronaldo, you think of the great player. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe until I, I, I looked that Bergami, he, he started in 79, he won the World Cup in 82, yet he's still playing in the same team as Ronaldo. Zanetti had just come in yeah. um, a couple of years before. So well. then he went on to break Bergami's period record, and like the squad that at that time with this shirt was an incredible team. And it's 
it's crazy to think that Bowie went all the way through. Yeah. yeah. And, crazy. and this shirt is, I mean, it's, it's such a great shirt. Yeah. This, everyone should have this. I know everyone says about the 90s Dortmund, everyone should have one of them in their collection, etc., cetera, et cetera. If, if everyone wants an Inter shirt, it should be this one. Yeah, this this might not be going back to retro. Uh, <laughs> might go missing, unfortunately. Uh, Alan, we'll finish off you. Again, you, you got this nailed down. It was the fourth in your list. Um, you think of Bergamo. I found out a weird, a weird stat. Sean, Sean sent me a stat about Bergamo that I didn't know. He played in four World Cups, never played in one qualifying game for Italy, which you think is ridiculous stat to have as a player. Um, but a legend, was, was it a legend wearing two legendary shirts for you? Well, the second one is. I mean, I, I, oddly, before today, whenever I see this shirt, I always thought of Christian Vieri. But unfortunately, now I'm only ever going to think of you, which I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. So I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to measure, I'm trying to measure good versus evil. Um, yeah, look, I mean, the, the second, the second one's fantastic, isn't it? And and, and like like we've, we've kind of alluded to this, this is when you, if you close your eyes and say into Milan, that that's what you see. Those those thicker stripes. If we go back to the, if we go back to the other one. One of the reasons that put me off this, if, if you just take those badges off, that's a WWE SmackDown referee. <laughs> that's literally all you can. That's <laughs> so. All, all, see, all I, all I've got now is Teddy Long shouting, "Get up!" You know, like yeah. just, just that. That I'm, I'm done. So that, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an awful shirt. And again, it's one of those where they've just taken some bloke from Italy. He's gone out on a night out in 1974, and they've gone, "I love that." Just put these yeah. badges on it and we'll keep it. And and when when the time's right, Inter Milan will come knocking and we'll give it them. And that because it's just it's not good, is it? And it, this is this is where and again, we, we're going to get it's the Arsenal one that, that caught me the most. But the sleeves again, I'm, I'm I'm just lining you up for this sleeves thing. The sleeves again on this. Look at look at them. They're, they're not good. They're, they're just the cuffs of the sleeves. We're going to come to them cuffs in a minute when we get to this Arsenal shirt. I explain exactly what I mean. But anyway, uh, bet, better badge though back in the day. I, I have to say that I, I do like that simplistic little badge that they have there. Obviously, the star above it that was sewn on by a couple of seven-year-olds they found in the street that weren't doing anything. You know that that that's fine. But yeah, the 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 other one, the the, the newer one, the, for me, the the Vieri one is is just it's iconic into Milan. I think it looks fantastic. Obviously, you know, Nike were getting things right. Um, in those days, and and again, that's something I've got lined up for Roma because I've, I've got to be in my bonnet about Nike at the moment. Everybody, everybody's getting it. I don't care. Um, but yeah, this is this this is the era when Nike were doing it right. Um, I yeah. even I even like I even like the collar um, as well. Um, I remember I remember actually having having this. I sound like one of those people. I had one of these. Um, I actually remember having this when I was a kid and playing football. Um, I've, I've said kid. I was probably seventeen. Um, so yeah, so I, I do remember having this and playing football in it. And you thinking it was a, it was a good shirt to go and play football in. Absolutely, I, I agree. Like they, uh, first time I've actually wore it. I've never worn it. I've never, I didn't have it as a kid. And um, yeah, it's not going back. I'm keeping it. Sorry, guys. Uh, but we're going to do Sean's. Not outright. You only got a twelve. Five for the old one. That's too hard, Sean. That's too hard. Seven uh, for this one. So yeah, I, I agree with that. And there we go. Fourth place on our list. Giuseppe Bergami. If I didn't do his stats, I can't remember. I'll do it again. Um, Five hundred seventy appearances. Twenty-four goals between seventy-nine and ninety-nine. Get in fourth on our place. Uh, fourth on our list with thirty-one points overall. Let's get into third place then. I'm excited to this because we're going to be a lot about sleeves, I believe, on this shirt. So it's 33 points overall. And we're off to Arsenal. Uh, Tony Adams, between 83 and 2002, 504 appearances, 32 goals overall. So this is the um, shirt from 83. And then if you didn't know it, obviously, 2002. I mean, I think there's only one place to start, isn't there, with this shirt? Uh, Alan, you had them um, in... You still managed to get third on your, your list, though. So you got this bang on as well. So, what was it about this? Is it just that you'd be cutting off those guns you've got? Is that what it is? Is that the problem? It's not. I mean, I'm glad you've noticed, but thank you. It's not just me. I mean, yeah, I, I, I spend I spend half a year in a gym and the other half in the fridge. So I'm, you know, I am I am one of those people that goes up and down. And I just, about look Alan. how small. Oddly, what you've got here, what you've got here, is a before and after. Uh, Akin Fenwar has tried this one on. And then if you go to the next shirt, that's what the sleeves look like after he's tried it on. They're too, it's too small. 
<laughs> it's too small. I, I, I think I think that's a design error, and they've made them too small for anybody to actually get their arms into. You know, even somebody like Perry Groves, his arms weren't very big. He won't get in that. That's honestly, you fa- either you found a shirt picture from a kid's model, or or everybody at Arsenal was told to skip weights day in the upper half and just just move on to leg day, lads, because you're not going to get in the shirt otherwise. If you had Akin Fenwar in that, you'd be subbing him at half time and putting him on a drip to try and get some blood back into his system. He'd be he'd be fucked in that, wouldn't he? But yeah, look, the collars the collars nice. I, I I got a I got a thing once I saw the picture of this that you sent me. I was like, oh, that collar's interesting. I, got, I don't know. What, I've got to think of that collar. The collar's quite interesting. Um, and again, I think the, the little black line that goes down the side. But this was one of, I think this was one of three where the more modern shirt won for me. Um, yeah. And I think again, sometimes when you look at a shirt, you don't necessarily look at all of the design. Sometimes your your mind is is taken by who was in it as opposed to what's on it or, or, or what's around it. And obviously, you know, you're talking about to me that shirt that there's some unbelievable players have have, have put that shirt over their head. And I, and I don't think I can ignore that part of it. Um, obviously, Dreamcast, again, when you when you look back at sponsors that, that people have had, obviously video game companies kind of get a good rep, don't they, for, for, for putting out bangers. Uh, and I think Dreamcast on a shirt always, always looked quite good. I loved the Sega stuff that Arsenal obviously went through as well. I always used to think they were good. And then obviously, as a Forest fan, I always think to myself, Arsenal, peasants, we had to give them a kit, you know, so obviously he's only red and white because of the Forest. So there you go, there's a history lesson, kids. Arsenal, Peasants, forest, we rule the world. <laughs> got more European cups than him, so you, you do. You rule the roost, mate. You rule the roost. <laughs> well, let's go through the two that aren't here. They both had it fifth on their list. Jay's kind of switched up his his notes this time. Not he's a good era. Like, well, a good just, generation for sure. He's just missed that off and put two bangers, so he's got lazy with it, if anything. Uh, but two bangers, he's saying it is. Um, he must have tiny arms. <laughs> Alan. Uh, Andy, let's come to you on these. And you had you had them seven. What was kind of missing the mark for both of these shirts that you wouldn't have them higher in your list? Uh, the the older one is I, I, I can never remember them with the Umbro. Umbro and Arsenal, it doesn't resonate with me. Yeah. And either Nike or Adidas. Mm-hmm. And now Alan said about it, I can't, I can't get past the sleeves now as well. <laughs> <laughs> so anything to do with this shirt is completely, I can't think of any positives now because all I can see is the sleeves. Yeah. The newer one is, it is, it is Arsenal. I mean, what year was this one? The 2002 was his last appearance, yeah. So it's the season before the they cheated for the Invincibles season, wasn't it? I think, um, two, yeah. Two, maybe two seasons before. I think yeah. Three, so I mean, they were coming into their own end. Let's say the great players. Um, yeah. Dreamcast was it the, the away? Did they have the Sega? Yeah, the, the yellow, the yellow and blue had Sega on. Yeah. Yeah. Is 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 a great Arsenal shirt. It's massive sleeves on it. I mean, Tony Adams there. Yeah. That's pure nineties. Really going on there. But um, yeah, as, it's probably my favourite Nike shirt that they did. Okay. But yeah. for me, they'll always be added us. No, I agree. Um, also, mate, brilliant way to slip in a little uh, Portsmouth reference there, mate. I really do appreciate that. That's great. Yeah. Um, so, we'll come to, we'll come to you on, on these, because there was second on your list, mate. But, I mean, going back, we have to go back to what Alan said. Is this just an advert of, please do not machine wash your shirts, if anything? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I quite like the fact that the collar and cuffs match. Um, well, and... I don't like that. You're into that, are you? Oh, that, I... <laughs> that what you're into? <laughs> um, and obviously, if some semblance of common sense prevails, we know that they stretch. Um, <laughs> the the away as well was was really really good as well. The the green with the blue, like navy blue. I think the the pinstriping on it. That obviously, um, although it won't have been harking back to this particular shirt in his last season, I think those two together tally up well. So as a combination, it that looks like it could be a throwback to that. It's, it's yeah. definitely not, but um, that's why one of the reasons why I could I'd certainly have this in my like. Uh, this is a combo in my collection. So yeah, a lot to like about it as already covered. But yeah, um, this the away of that 
older one and then I think they had a yellow version of it the following season. So, yeah, obviously liked it and uh, stuck around for good reason. Yeah, mate, I, I, I agree. Um, 14 out of 20 for, from Sean on his night out rating. Seven apiece uh, for, for both of these shirts. Sean, Sean likes to think he's still a small. He's blatantly a medium. He'll think he'll, he'll fit nice, nice in that, honestly. I, I guarantee you would have said that. Oh, yeah, you're definitely pulling on that on a night out. That's, that's, I guarantee <laughs> those words would have come out of his mouth. Either. Anyway, there we go. Tony Adams, Arsenal legend, you can call it. Played only them, which is why he's in this list. If he didn't, he won't be able to. So that makes sense. Uh, third on our list, 33 points overall, all the threes. Uh, from 83 to 2002, 504 appearances, 32 goals. What a legend he was. And captain. Let's go on then to the final two. Here we are. Um, and I have to say, only got into second place by one point. 34 points Ooh. overall. And this guy, this guy, my favourite, my favourite, well, he's one of my favourite players. Oh, no. All skulls. Manchester oh. United, 1994 to 2013. 499 appearances, 107 goals. This is obviously the first shirt he wore in 94. Uh, my favorite United shirt. I didn't put it on. I've got it. It's over there. But I didn't want to put it in because it's been on a couple of shows recently. Uh, and obviously the last shirt, the Gingham 2013 champion um, shirt. Last time United won the league. Let's go through those that, aren't, that are sadly not with us. Um, second on Sean's list. Still a United fan. Don't care what he says about Stockport. Uh, Jay had them eight, and he says, "Great start, <laughs> dead end." All right, fair enough. <laughs> Chelsea fan. All right, uh, let's go through our rankers. Andy, let's start with you on on these. Uh, you had them second as well, mate. What was your thoughts on on the two United shirts being in it? It got a second because that that one there is probably my second favorite United home shirt ever. Choice. I, I I really like that. The, the you got the Umbro, you got the sponsor sharp, you got the the print of Old Trafford on there, which I, I can't remember any other clubs doing that with their stadium. Certainly not at the time. I think okay. recent years, I think um, there's been a few dotted around Europe that have done it. Yeah, but to see it there, it's it's a fantastic shirt. The only the only shirt that beats it for me is the one with the drawstring. Was it the year before? Yeah, two seasons, three. I had to put it two seasons before that. Yeah, started. That's the only shirt that beats. That's that's my number one United shirt of all time. That's my that's my second. Yeah, and I ranked it second overall mainly on this shirt. Because I, I think it's fantastic. The Gingham one, I'm not keen on either. Really, the sponsor's great, but I, I, the the pattern on it is is really not for me. I know when it when it was released. I remember there was a lot of uh, arming and ahhing amongst people, thinking, you know, "What is that?" Yeah, but it's, it's the game pattern. Is, uh, is it is it a particular Manchester thing? Is it the manufacturing yeah. or etc.? But yeah, it's out of the two shares, the first the the first one is is amazing. This one not so much. Yeah, uh, I tend to agree with you there, mate. Uh, Alan, uh, we'll come to you. Eight on your list for, for this pair. Is it is it you're just jealous of another team that are better in red? Is that what it could have been? Is it eight one? Is that what that. is that what it is? I'm just I'm just ignoring you. I'm gonna to answer to this without actually pretending you're not here. So I like the I like the symmetry in it's happening. So obviously we had Lons in, in ninth position, you got United in second, Lons with that little nod to the region on their top. With United, have done a little nod to a shithole actually inside the shirt, you know. So I, I love the fact that both those clubs have thought about it for at least half a second. Um, yeah, look, I mean, this one, this one's it is iconic, isn't it? And not, not necessarily, obviously, you know, some ginger kid steps out of Old Trafford in this and you think he's the ball boy, but obviously, other players of that era, you, you do see them in that shirt. And, and, and again, as Andy said, that at the time. 
that was like, wow, it's not just a plain red shirt, you know, like that's 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 fantastic. You know, somebody's somebody's put some effort and thought um in, into what they're doing. So yeah, great. I love a I love a good umbro collar. I've got my I've got my Stan Collymore ninety four uh shirt behind me. And it's if I put it on, the collar comes straight up. You know, it's got nothing to do with him himself. It's just you just feel like you've got to wear that collar up on it all the time because it's because it's also rigid like cardboard. So you get those you get those up. So that one obviously that was obviously better than than the next one, and and my issue with the next one, and and it's because it's almost as if it's almost as if Nike have done the counterfeiters work for them. Let's make it look like a fucking knockoff shirt, lads, and then nobody will care. Nobody will care. It'll just look like a knockoff shirt to start with, and the counterfeiters will get away with it. It's brilliant because it, it's. It, I don't know. Something about that doesn't say Manchester United, and I think it's because actually it. In real life, the real shirt, the non-counterfeit shirt, has different shades or something, and it looks slightly better. Whereas this is the bit where that printer didn't really have the, the ability to make it look as good as it used to. So we'll just knock this out, and the kids in Bulgaria will still buy it. They'll be fine. They've done the work for them. I don't understand. I just I just don't get it. I think that the sponsors wasted on this. Just get at this point. I know that obviously the first one's got the got a design on it. This one's got a design on it. No, this one. Just go back to having a red shirt, lads. The sponsor and the collar will do the work on this. They've, just, they've missed the trick. That's all they've done. They've missed the trick. The printer was running out of red ink. That's what happens. <laughs> some some interesting points. Uh, on, on, on the <laughs> uh, Tom, um, being a red, similar to myself. Um, you know, you had these. Yeah, these are your number one shirts, um, mm -hmm. which I, I got. Looking back at this shirt, I don't. You know, it's not because we're Reds, but do you think this is an underrated shirt for United in terms of it's one of the, the best ever? I mean, it's so unique in that the pattern being in it, and you know, the, the memories it, it, it invoked to the players that wore it. You know, you think of Cantona, that's the first player I think of. Like, like, like Alan says, the collar goes straight up when I put it on. Yeah, it has to. Yeah. Over, you know, this this clearly is better than the, than the, the the newer one. But yeah, for you, why did these two have to be bit number one in your list? This well, this one, the the ninety four one, like that was like I was like eleven, so it's at that point, you know, secondary school that you then really getting into it. Um, and obviously, like like Andy says, it was something that was completely different than had been seen before with having uh, Old Trafford like within the fabric. Yeah. Uh, and even the bit within the collar with the broken down like Manchester United text yeah. um, was, was class as well. So I, I, I preferred the back of it because you could see all of the picture as well. Um, and yeah, I think that was just epitomising, you know, me falling in love with with the club. Um, you know, like as as you start to understand a bit more about football at that age and what have you. So yeah, that itself was class. And the fact that obviously. You know, uh, where in number 22, he when he came back, um, and had wore the gingham one, he, he was 22 then as well. So, yeah, loads, loads to love about that. Um, but like Beckham is, yes, there you go. Bex is 28 in it, and like Neville, I think Neville wore like 27 in it, um, was class. And that, that, yeah, that one again with the 22, um, I liked bits of. Like the gingham nod to the forged in industry mank, mank thing, so that was good. The tech with the like T bars on the shoulders was one of those little elements that you saw there was physical differences then to the players' shirts and you know the ones that you know most fans would, would have access to. But I think, um, obviously, that itself for me, I'll always love anyway, just because of Van Persie, Old Trafford, clinching the 20th league title to go past them. Uh, and I used to my seats used to be behind skulls his dad and um him and his like his dad would bring like his son and they'd be singing whoa 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 it's Carrick you know <laughs> uh, and yeah it was just it was amazing I've got so many good memories of that season and that shirt that I had to put these two top yeah I mean I, I, I agree you know it would have been hard for me not to do the same uh, funny that you know you you put that that post up today about your favorite goal you seen live and it's obviously this. <laughs> In this, uh, that's, that's that's really mad, really mad. Um, but no, I I agree, mate. Two two great shirts for me. You know, you can talk about the design of the newer one, but I think what it means to United fans, obviously, the last the last league we won. I think Fergie's last season, it, it's going to be held up in some kind of regard for for Manchester United fans. Absolutely, yeah. uh, I agree. So there we go. Second on our list, thirty four points overall. Just quickly, 
John's night out rating, definitely a United fan, 15.5. Um, seven for the old one, 8.5 for this one. Uh, he, he, loves, he loves United. I, I'm not having it. He loves it. Right, let's get into the one then. We've got one pair of shirts left to go. Overwhelmingly our winner. So obviously you think out of the five rankers, 50 points available. They've got 43 uh, from the five people that's obviously ranked this week. He is the king of Rome. It is, obviously, Francesco Totti. Played for Roma from 93 to 2017. 619 appearances with 250 goals. Madness. Absolutely, man. What an absolute legend. Uh, Sean, number one on his list. Uh, Jay had them third. Um, two decent shirts. First one pulls it up massively. He said, obviously, this is the 93. And we go to 2017 shirt. Let's go through the rankings and let's get, let's get into it. Um, Alan, let's start with you. And uh, these were both second on your list. Um, the theme of the show has been the older ones that have kind of been leading the way. Was that the case with the two from from Roma? Yeah, I've just got rid of that taste of vomit from Dom chatting about United. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is, yeah, like again. We, we talked about the, the Dortmund shirt a little bit earlier on, didn't we? And, and we sort of talk about shirts that you recognise where you can always tell somebody who's kind of just getting into the, the collecting side, perhaps, and, and they're starting to investigate what makes a what makes a wonderful classic shirt. People often dive into the, not this one, obviously, but people obviously dive into the, the Barilla sponsor, uh, which obviously just as a fat guy makes me hungry. I just want some pasta now for some, for some reason. Um, so, you know, you always sort of dive into these kind of era of shirts when you start to think about it. And obviously the, 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 the little pussycat, I've done that to annoy every Roma fan possible. The little <laughs> pussycat emblem on the, on the crest, uh, obviously the trefoil is, 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 is fantastic. The, but the sponsor, again, you know, you were, you were talking about sponsors that we, we recognize time in, time out. You're all about intimate lands having the same one and always you know it becomes a, an unesco heritage site that well that's what barilla should have been as well shouldn't it you know they, they should have kept it on there um so that is that is you look at that and you think yeah class shirt collector's item that that's the one that, that springs out at you and and let's be right we've 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 cleared up the fact that i was quite high on uh, energy or whatever it was earlier on in Barcelona, we should just wipe off number one and make my uh, make my Roma prediction number one instead because I was clearly doing something at that point when I picked Barca. <laughs> this is, you know, that, that shirt outweighs the majority on our list today. Fast forward, I have an issue with Nike. This is my problem. Um, Nike in the last few years have done me. I'm a, I'm a large gentleman, as my wife says. And she calls me other things as well. But if you're going to make a double XL shirt, make it fit me because I didn't have to. And that's what annoys me. And and just, you know, if you're going to make a Nike shirt and you're going to call it a double XL, put a little bit of extra fabric on your tight bastards. Make it a double <laughs> XL. You know, it's it's. I'm not an athlete. Once you get past, once you get past L, we don't we don't need it to be tight fitting. I'm I'm not trying to run the wing at Twickenham. I don't need <laughs> anything to help me go faster. So yeah, this this one is this one is the classic. And actually, to, to be fair to that Nike version, to, to be fair to that Nike second one. I quite like it. I think it's. I think it's a really nice shirt. I think it's very simple. Um, obviously, you know, yeah. The fact that the one you've got there is without a sponsor. Do they? I think they go on to Qatar Airways at some point at this, at this juncture in time. Is that right? They, they 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 put that in there somewhere. But I think for me, this one, nice and simple. Yeah, look, there he is. He's having a dance. Um, you know, it's, that's that's brilliant. And I think that's. Um, is that Alan Hutton trying to defend against Totti? <laughs> oh no, it's just a child. It's fine. It's just a small child. Sorry. Um, it's it's yeah. He, he's he's a legend. And again, when you when you talk about this player and you talk about Roma, that that's it. It goes hand in hand. I know they've had they've had fantastic players over the years, but you know, in in, in my job, you, you start talking about class class acts and and people that will will always go down in, in history. This is this is the man. This is this is the man right there. Absolutely, mate. I fully agree with everything you said on that. Uh, Dom, we'll come to you. Fifth on your list only. Do um, you like him a bit wider? Is, it, is that the problem for you? Um, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't mind. I'll well, take him as he come. I'll take come, mate. I'm not, I'm not fussy. Like, <laughs> None of you are not my size, are you? You like the colour to match the cross and you like him a bit wider. No, it's yes. okay. yeah. Um, no, I think uh, obviously the the uh, earlier shirt deserves as much praise 
as he does as a player um, as well. So uh, I think it was just the fact that I don't, the, the Lepetto or pussy cat, as I would say, <laughs> um, facing the other way than I'm used to, was it like yeah. that threw me a little bit. Yeah. Um, and from what we've heard, obviously, this will inform potentially what the home kit next season is going to look like as the bat with Adidas. If it's anything near this, it'll go down a treat. But I think the the newer one, it was just the the kind of slight gradient thing. And then there's a, there's a, there's like the world's worst sash down the middle of it where it just kind of disrupts the lines a little bit. And obviously I do like a little bit of editing. And if I, if I haven't lined something up properly and then I see it after I've already posted it, I'm like, fucking hell, what have you done? And I, I'm not sure what it's supposed to signify, but it just uh, grates on me a little bit. Yeah. Nah, fair, fair enough, mate. And they will finish with you. Number one on your list. I know this template, um, from 1617, really not not a like template. I look back on fondly. Was it was it the the night shirt that's really won you over and just elevated it to the top position for you then? Oh, definitely, absolutely. Even the colours, um, it's, it's not it's not a red. It's it's a Roma red with like the the orange trim and, and the yellow um, pussy cat as well. So that that is that stands out even more. Which is great to see a shirt where the crest stands out rather than sponsor or anything else. Yeah. And when when they go back to Adidas, if they just recreate this with whichever sponsor they're going to have now, that's all they need to do. They don't need to do anything else. It's just it's it's a fantastic shirt. Mm-hmm. It is, no, it's absolutely beautiful. And then. Yeah. Your, your thoughts on this? Or, or this come anywhere? Or, or was it? It's not my favourite Nike. The the collar or the neck. Yeah. It's just put the yellow all the way around. Yeah. All the way around, and stick it on the cuffs as well. Match it up. I, yeah. It's, I it's not very. I don't like the actual the colour of it either. That, that sort of red is a bit. It's a bit dark. Yeah. It, it looks. It looks like a weird. Like, in, with a ghost mannequin, it looks a weird colour, but it, there it looks a bit yeah. more proper aroma. Um, yeah, no, fair, fair enough, mate. I mean, we'll finish off with Sean's now ratings. Obviously, top of the pile with 16 points out of 20, 8 and 8 for both shirts. Clearly was a big fan. And there we go, number one shirt on our list this week, and it is Roma and Totti from 93 to 2017. And what a legend. And, you know, deserves... Deserves to be top of the list. I think he is that much of a legend, like we say. But yeah, that's it. Number one on our list. We have there. We're finished. And let's just do what I like to always do. Um, do diligence and show you that I don't cheat. Let's bring it up. It's ready to come. Um, everyone scores. There we go. Everyone scores. So everyone can see that I don't cheat and I don't just make up myself. Uh, Sorry, coming number one. There we go. Right, that's it for this week. Thank you very much for joining us. I think it's been a great episode. I've liked and not the pressure I've had to talk about the shirts too much. <laughs> great opinions of everyone else. Um, well, let's go through the rankers and we'll say bye. Alan, thank you so much for spending some time. I know you're out there, obviously, in Spain doing your thing. Um, but it's a pleasure to finally get you on Talking Kit and Full Kit Rankers. Thank you so much, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank, thank you, awesome guys. There, there, were some, there were some fantastic... Uh, is that your is that your is that your landlord I'll give it a rent? There's some fantastic <laughs> opinions uh, and and some great insight from shirts. None of it came from me, so that was good. Um, you you know you guys you guys do a fantastic job. It's uh, you know I, I just want to say because because I sometimes feel like I sort of bulldozed my way into the community and I'm using this thing there. Um, it's it, it's a pleasure for me, you know. Put my my entire social media timeline has fuck all else on it, and and that's weird, you know, because that, that 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 probably should have a more of a life. I'm not sure, but it's it's fantastic. And and each and every one of you, you do whatever you want to do, you collect whatever you want to collect. And I know I take the piss, and I know I say things, especially about that about that Puma template from last season that can fuck off. But but everything <laughs> else about about shirts, everything else about the community, everything else about collecting or buying. I, I love it. I, th- I think you, I think everybody out there has got, they've got every right for their opinion. They've got every right to buy whatever shirts they want to buy, um, except Arsenal ones. And, and yeah, so, you know, just, just crack on everybody and, and, and enjoy yourselves. And I, I think I said something a long time ago, 
who cares? Don't listen to anybody else. If you want to buy, if you want to spend your money on something, spend it. If you don't want to spend it, don't spend it. You know, I I make no I make no bones of, of my job, and 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 I earn what I earn. But I still wouldn't pay a lot of money for a shirt. I'm a type master, so everybody's different. <laughs> Everybody is different. You own what you want to own, and you do what you want to do. This programs like this, you know, and 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 there's some fantastic podcasts and stuff out there. Keep doing them; they're absolutely fantastic. Oh, appreciate that, Crown Words, mate. It means a lot, oh, man. Top man, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, I mean, you know, hat trick appearance. Thank you again for coming on, mate. Always a pleasure. Great to have your opinions. Um, you. Yeah, I hope you're well. Uh, and what have you got coming up? What can you tell people? What are you, are you finally getting them videos out, mate? What's going on? I, I will be. Yes, I've actually got somewhere that I can do some videos now. I think I said last time that I was going to get on it, but I've been stuck at work. There's six days a week at work. Real life killing me, but I'm going to make some time. And hopefully this in the next couple of days, I'll get one out. As long as I recover from my man flu, which I'm still a bit bummed about with. I'll get past that in the next couple of days. And yeah, we'll get some get some videos out because there's loads I want to do. What's already all so many shirts, etc. I need to need to start banging it out. Definitely do, mate. Hundred percent. So many ideas you've come in throwing into me, mate. You need to be saving yourself. <laughs> yeah, I did nothing at work that day. I was, <laughs> yeah. I'm just firing off. I've got one going, and then it was just constant. Oh, hang on, there's another one. There's another one. Hey, so, you do, yeah. you do my job for me, mate. I'll take it all day long. You do, you crack on. You absolutely. <laughs> crack on, mate. Well, thank you so much, and make sure everyone you are following uh, and then because yeah, just a great person from the community, and I love having him and sharing him and sharing his stories and thoughts on football shirts for sure. Dom, I mean. My, my, the the Robin to my Batman. Thank you again for coming on. Uh, Pleasure. <laughs> Pleasure, as always. What, and what have you got going on? What can you tell people? What, what Well, I'm, I think I'm like three days sober now. So um, <laughs> you get a token for that, right? I think, I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Round of applause, you're right, Alan. Yeah, yeah cheers. But uh, I'll be out tomorrow for the There's football. a fly in the room, that's all it is. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be kicking about at the weekend. Um, I'll be catching some football um, and yeah, just making the most of, like Al says, the community and interacting with people and the the kind of break from the normal shit, um, as Andy's alluded to, that we all have to deal with. So yeah, I'll take a lot of solace and faith in in what we've got here. So yeah, just appreciate guys like you coming on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I just want to say thank you to everyone, all the rankers, you for watching. And yeah, I mean, feels like it's going to be a good year for Top and Kit. I feel like we're in a groove at the moment. Got this show, got Desert Island Kits as well as some other stuff hopefully coming as well. So if it's your first time Top and Kit, be sure, like I say, smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, just get involved, become a kit head. That's what we want. We want everyone to be. This is, this is I like to say, the community's channel. It's not about me. It's not about Dom. It's about the people coming on, telling their stories, telling their memories and Hating shirts because they've got skinny sleeves. That's what it's all about. That's what we <laughs> like to talk about <laughs> on here. So we'll be back again next week for another full kit rankers. If you haven't already, go and check out the new Desert Island kits as well. We'll be back very, very soon with more kit content. And as always, whatever you do, just make sure that you keep talking kit. Mm -hmm.